Hello Kickstarter, we are Onion. As makers, we use development boards to build all sorts of cool stuff. But most development boards on the market fell short of our expectations. They're bulky, confusing to set up, and overcomplicated. We usually spend far more time reading the documentation than actually using them to build things. Today, we're changing that. Say hello to the Omega 2, the world's simplest development board. The Omega 2 is tiny. At less than a quarter of the size of your credit card, it can easily fit into any project. But don't be fooled by its size. The Omega 2 is powerful. It is a full Linux computer. That's right. This tiny purple thing runs the same operating system that powers some of the world's most mission-critical infrastructure. The Omega 2 works out of the box. It comes with built-in Wi-Fi and onboard storage, so it comes to life the moment you power it on. The Omega 2 is familiar. You control it with apps, just like your regular computer. We even have an app store, so you can discover apps created by the community. The Omega 2 is easy to program. In fact, you don't even have to write any code. It supports Node-RED, a graphical tool that you can use to create programs by simple drag and drop. But if you are into writing code, the Omega 2 supports many programming languages. Pick one you're already familiar with and start building. The Omega 2 is cloud connected, so you can remote control it securely from anywhere in the world. The Omega 2 is expandable. We have created many plug-and-play expansions, so adding new features to your project will look something like this. The Omega 2 is affordable, starting at only $5. Yep, five. It is cheaper than this Frappuccino. We want to lower the barrier to entry so everyone can join the maker movement. So you see Kickstarter, the problem is that the tools for building amazing things are just not accessible for everyone. And that is why we're working so hard to make the Omega 2 really easy to use. But we need your help to make it affordable as well. So please back our campaign and tell all your friends. We can't wait to see what amazing things you'll come up with. Thank you. Hi. I'm Michelangelo, and this is a powerful desktop computer, while this is an Arduino one-on-one. -on -one. And this is both of them. It's the brand new Udo X86, and it is the most powerful maker board ever. How much does it cost? 89, and this beauty can run up to three 4K resolution monitors at once. So she can do pretty much everything you throw at it. Like, for example, being your favorite 4K media player. YouTube, Netflix, Kodi. This beauty runs just everything. And you can also use its extended capabilities to create new interactions, like we just did. And if you are in the mood for gaming, you can play pretty much every game, even the latest ones on your PC, and stream them live on the Udo X86. Also, if you are in the mood for retro gaming, you are covered. Udo X86 is open source, open hardware, and thanks to the Arduino one and one capabilities, is perfect for professors, designers, students and makers to lighten up their ideas. Things like drones, robots, or computer vision projects are a piece of cake. Isn't that cool? Woohoo! And it can also run Android, Linux, or even become a fully-fledged multi-monitor Windows workstation. Yoda may say that the force is really strong with you, the x86. Joe, it's yours. You do x86 is a complete and flexible development platform. No compromises. It provides powerful Intel quad-core processor, four gigs of RAM, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Gigabit Ethernet, and the most common storage options. There will be also available a lot of Linux distro, Windows, and Android. You can directly program Arduino 101 from the main processor, plug shields, and communicate with it with Bluetooth Low Energy. 
and all of these are starting at $89, but to make it possible, we need to buy components in large quantity. Back now the project and share it. Hi Qstaras, I'm Lauren and I'm Matt. We are the Latte team and this is our latest product, the Latte Panda. We are makers, we love making and hacking things. But so far, we haven't found any suitable tools for Windows-based projects. So we created Latte Panda, a palm-sized quad-core full Windows 10 computer and it runs perfectly with you. Using Microsoft Office Playing high definition videos and running other Windows compatible software on the Latte Panda is exactly the same experience as using a regular PC. And it's way smaller. In fact, it's 40% smaller than an iPhone. But just like an iPhone, it includes Wi Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. It's very affordable to run using a regular 5 volt phone charger for power. To make it suitable for a wide range of user scenarios, Lati Panda also comes packaged with an Arduino compatible core processor. Engineers and hobbyists based in Shanghai, each with specific skills. Supported by DF Robot, we have an array of hardware and software resources at our disposal. We love tinkering with hardware, and we are very excited to share our creations with you. Hi, I'm Rob from The Magpie, the official Raspberry Pi magazine, and today we're looking at something very, very special, the brand new Pi Zero W. Now, if you haven't seen it before, the Pi Zero is the smallest version of the Raspberry Pi. It's just slightly bigger than the stick or gum, but it's still a full Raspberry Pi computer. 
It's fantastic for creating tiny little pie projects like fitting RetroPie into a retro controller, or slipping it into an Altoids tin and making a computer out of it. This new version includes wireless LAN, which is something that a lot of people have been asking for since the original Pi Zero came out, and this lets you connect to your Wi-Fi at home. These calls didn't fall on deaf ears, and the engineers at Raspberry Pi have been beavering away to try and squeeze the extra wireless LAN chip and antenna onto the already packed Pi Zero board. First things first, let's talk about the specs. For all intents and purposes, it's almost identical to the Pi Zero version 1.3. This means it's powered by the same BCM chip from the original models of the Raspberry Pi. Now, this is a thing we'll call 1 GHz processor with 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, it retains the camera connector from the updated Pi Zero, which works with the Raspberry Pi camera modules, and it has a power port here, micro USB data port, mini HDMI out, and the SD card slot. Now, to use the micro USB and mini HDMI ports, you will need to get some adapter cables. Uh, these are pretty easy to come by these days, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, what's new is the radio chip, which provides wireless LAN and Bluetooth to the Pi Zero. Uh, you might recognize it because it's the exact same one you'll find on the Raspberry Pi 3, which came out last year. Now, what's different from the Pi 3, though, is that there's a new antenna on the board. And it's this little discovered bit right here. It's a brand new type of antenna that is literally printed into the board, and it's there instead of the little white box you'll find on the Raspberry Pi 3. Now, we really like it. We think it's super cool, and it does help to keep the form factor as identical as possible. Uh, the engineering team went to great lengths to make sure that everything was on the top side of the board. And as you'll see, there's nothing on the back of it. Now, the best news is it works straight out of the box. Uh, Raspbian is already able to use the wireless chip on the Pi Zero because it's the same one as on the Pi 3. Uh, from there, you can use it for any number of great little applications, such as a DIY Chromecast or Fire Stick with the Pi Zero powered by the TV's USB. And, you know, wireless can be done by the chip and not need dongles. Uh, you can easily tip it into your existing small Pi Zero projects and add internet to them, uh, or you can create a little file server with it as well, and so on. It's really opening up a whole new world to the Pi Zero. Now, if you want to get your hands on one, you can buy one right now. But we also have a brand new subscription offer. If you sign up to 12 months print subscription of the Magpie, you'll get a Pi Zero W absolutely free, delivered straight to your door with some adapter cables. Uh, and you can find out more about our subs offers at the link down here on the screen right now. I hope it's right there. Uh, anyway, for the Magpie, the official Raspberry Pi magazine, I've been Rob. See you next time.